you are most likely eating pre-digested food on a daily basis without even knowing it. Ultra processed foods nowadays aren't just junk foods, but they're hidden everywhere and you really have to look hard to find these ultra processed foods today. These foods are literally all over and ubiquitous throughout grocery stores here in the United States. And in fact, nearly 73% of all food in grocery stores are considered ultra processed foods. Today's video is talking all about these ultra processed foods and how they're not only just bad for your health and addictive, but how they can be pretty harmful for us as human beings. According to emerging science, these ultra processed foods occur due to a manufacturing process that pre-digests the food initially through heavy processing, creating these ultra processed foods that actually bypass your own body's physiologic response of normal digestion and overall sense of fullness. The bottom line is we today in America are eating majority of our diet coming from pre-digested foods. So what the heck does ultra processed even mean? Well, this has to do with how the foods are processed, right? Completely shocking and groundbreaking, I know. The idea of pre-digested food essentially works like this. Basic foods such as wheat, potatoes, and corn are disassembled into their molecular structures of starchy flours, protein isolates, fats, or what most manufacturer companies call slurries. These slurries are then taken through different steps and processes in order to create the foods that we see today. I'll repeat this point because it is so important. The defining feature of ultra processed foods does not necessarily mean that a food is really bad for you, like it has a list of bad ingredients, or that it has high in sugar, high in fat, high in calories, which all of these things are true, but the major defining feature is that if you wanted to recreate a pack of Doritos in your own home, you literally couldn't do it without special equipment. Now, there are several levels of processed foods, or rather, processed foods themselves kind of lie on a spectrum. To explain this further, I wanna put this on the screen here so you can see the differences that I'm talking about. Starting with largely unprocessed foods, we have things like meat, fruit, vegetables, and things in this category are pretty self-explanatory. When we move on to the next category, we talk about lightly processed culinary ingredients, but these are things that we see pretty normally within our diet, such as honey, butter, salt, etc. Then we move on to the third category, such as processed foods, and these are foods like wine, cheese, and bread. These are foods where you have to undergo a certain degree of changing of the structure from where the basic ingredients come from, but it's not overly complex or difficult to do. The final category, and this is the crux of today's talk, these are the categories of ultra processed foods that I am referring to. When you hear the word ultra processed, think things like Oreos, Cheetos, Doritos, Wonder Bread, Beyond Beef patties, etc. A really important point to distinguish here is that processed foods themselves aren't necessarily a bad thing as we see from the spectrum on the screen. There are certain ingredients that are processed in order to create meals that we can use with whole foods. However, it's when we move from the gently processed or processed foods into that ultra processed category that we run into some trouble. So why exactly are these ultra processed foods so bad for you? Well, there's a quote that I'd like to go over that pretty much says, much like the regurgitated food mother birds feed their babies in the nest, Ultra processed food is quick and easy to digest, but that's not how the human digestive system is meant to work. When food moves through the digestive system in ways mother nature didn't intend, the body loses the ability to send a signal of fullness to the brain. In other words, what this quote is essentially saying is when you eat these ultra processed foods, your body can't undergo the normal physiologic processes to number one, send a signal to your brain that you are full, so you end up eating 
way more calories than you would otherwise. And number two, your body actually can't digest these foods as well as it can digest whole foods. So not only do these foods contain a lot of bad ingredients, such as heavily processed seed oils, extra refined added sugar, among other things, they are already pre-digested and hack your own body's physiology, not allowing our bodies to digest these foods in the way that we were intended to. This can actually lead to this toxic cycle of craving these foods more and more, leaving you hungrier and hungrier, which makes you consume more of the foods. Consuming more of the foods leads to extra calories, and it creates this vicious cycle of crave and consumption that is actually very difficult to break. Now, if this video has really resonated with you and you're wanting to take steps in order to remove some of these ultra processed foods from your diet, but not really sure where to start, I have a really good video here about the ways that I talk about the most natural ways that I think us as humans can eat and thrive based on our metabolism. So I really think you find that video interesting right here.